hello welcome back to another youtube video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can host your first website to the internet or to the c panel let's say you've created this cool website that you want people to see online and you don't know how to host for the first time you have just bought your first domain so today i'm going to show you how you can do all that so the first thing that you need to do this is my local php my admin so let's say an example i'll be hosting let's say let me pull my other screen to you in a moment So let's say you have such a website. These are just my website that I developed some few years ago, and it's our it was a library, a bookstore library. Let's say we want to host these to the user so that they can use our website. So the first thing that you need to do is open your C panel. So you go to your browser. I prefer using Firefox. So I'll say uh, my panel it will be Canon Gadgets slash C panel. So my username and then use my password. Which so this one you log into your own C panel and and uh, log into your cPanel. So the next thing that you need to do, you'll find this interface after logging into your cPanel. So you'll go to File Manager. After opening File Manager, in your case, you'll go to something like www, this one here, or you can go to this public.html. It's all the same and you will you will copy your data here but for me uh, uh, since i already have something running in that domain i'll create a subdomain which will act uh, as the as the same thing as uh, as this w so let's first create our subdomain and i'll call it library so i'll go to my domains yep this one So let's say create a new domain. It's a subdomain though. I'll say let's call it library. Library.canongadgets.com. This will be this will be the subdomain that we'll be using. For your case, you'll be using the original C panel in the WW. So let's come here, re reload our page, and you'll see here we'll find our subdomain that we have created. It will be empty, you already have this CGI bin and .ht access. You can opt to delete them or you can just leave them as the, the way they are. So the next thing that you need to do is go to your website, the website that you've developed. Maybe for my case, it's a PHP website and I'll go to my example HD Docs and I'll, I've named it as Bookstore. So the first thing that you need to do is just uh, you need to uh, zip this file so that you can import it to so let's do this and to again I'll call it a zip and let's say okay. Mm, so for mine is a little bit bigger, but it just takes less than a minute to to zip and then we'll be back after that. So I'll pause for a minute. So 
Now we already have our zipped file called bookstore. Uh, mine is a real big, it's around 100 MB. So, so the next thing that we need to do is go back to your file manager in your cPanel. Then click here, the upload button here, say upload. Select a file and go to your HT docs as you show the local disk C, Zomb HT docs, and wherever you've stored your website or application, as a matter. So, for my case, I'll say upload this box. So, uh, it's so big. So, uh, for that, I think we'll not use this one. I'll use a a smaller a smaller website i don't know whether i have any smaller website yeah i do have one it's an e-commerce website this one um let's use this one or maybe this one when rvtn let's use this one it's a bit smaller so i'll use this one instead of the the one I told you, it's at least, this is just 7 MB. I don't know why I'm getting this error, but, oh, internet connection. So guys, sorry for that, I had a little, a little problem with my internet connection and, but, we're back. So uh, as I was saying, we'll use a smaller website so that the video, video, video might not take so long. So I'll use this one, the RPTN. I have so many projects, so don't, don't worry about that. Your HD docs might not look like mine. I have so many projects, so I'll use this RPTN. And this one is a little bit faster, it's just 7 MB. So, and it's done. So come back to your uh, file manager, your uh, your path. So you, as I said, it will be public uh, or www. So I reload and uh, we have this RVTN zip. So uh, first thing that you need to do here is uh, click uh, highlight and then right click on extract from here but for me i prefer right click extract yours will be something like public or yeah just the domain name like canon gadgets is my domain name or you can say library.canongadgets.com like mine extract files and boom here we are so reload again and you'll have your folder here rptn so with this now, you have your uh, website on your domain. But when you type something like, let's say an example, mine is library. So mine is library dot canon dot com. You, as you can see, it just brings some folders, but this is not what you want. What you want is after you, uh, your users type library.canongadgets.com or whatever your sub, uh, your domain is, you want them to have maybe a good view, maybe like this one or maybe like any other website. So to do that and to, or to achieve that, come back to your file manager where you extracted your files. So, Enter to your folder, uh, the one uh, that's holding your site. You can say select all, and then you can say move these files to your public here, to the main, uh, to the main uh, uh, folder, to the main uh, path, if I can say that. So I'll do that. Or rather, you can say your index page to be on that page alone. And then in your index page, you can redirect all the links to go to the RPTN 
folder whichever you see easier for you you can use it but you must have an index file which is either index.php or index.html whichever way you want to call it but for php case you have to use .php or .html or if you're using something like a framework like Laravel, you have something like routes so yeah, you have to redirect them that way so um, my case i'll select all and i'll move them from the albitian folder to the main to the main folder and i'll click enter move files so they do move these files say move say move files here oh so they have an internet connection problem i don't know why but i'm connecting from my phone that's why so i select again so, select all move from here to here and select move as you can see it's moving the four files to that other side and I'll come back. I can delete. I can get rid of this Alvitian folder now. And as you can see now, all my files are in this uh, directory, the initial directory. So now I have these called the my index page in my main main path. So in your case, you have something like this. Let me show you an example. In my case, I have a brew here, and I have all my files here, and I have my index.php here. So your index.php must always be on your path, or you can decide to redirect using a folder, which is not good for your uh, website or for your users. Most of them don't like uh, using slashes like this one. You can do slash of it here yeah, but most users don't love that so that said let's test whether our library uh, our library dot canon gadgets dot com is now live so we can do this we can just reload this page and as you can see it's loading with a title called avatar the gift application and as you can see looks like this you can log in actually I can't remember my credentials so don't bear me it's an old project that I did so it was an, a web application that I did some few years ago but that's all you need to do so that to get you uh, your website running online so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment and until next time, bye.